Southern girl, Shantae LaVette. And if you are ashamed to open up your refrigerator when you have guests over, then that just might be a sign that it's time for a refrigerator makeover. And let me tell you, I was there too. My newly rearranged refrigerator is part of my project completion series. And I achieved this harmonious happiness by using containers for less than six bucks each. So let me show y'all how to make it happen. Ta-da! Y'all, I cannot believe how much space I have in my refrigerator now. I used to always think that I didn't have enough space, but by making a few changes, y'all, when, when I thought I had some swamp land, now I have beachfront property. A system that I have implemented is the mason jar system. Really, really works. What I love about it is it frees up so much space in your refrigerator. I got a set of 12 jars from Walmart for $10. They have them in all different sizes to suit your needs. It has really saved me some space. Since we do eat a lot of salads, being able to put the salads and the cucumbers and all my vegetables, we get to see all of our foods that are ready and prepared to eat. And what I love about it is when you're done with the jar, just wash it out and put it back in your refrigerator so you know when it's time for food prep, you can just pull the jar out and it's ready and washed to go. And the biggest thing is getting used to food prep. Let me show you my first experience. As I am in the middle of food prep, yeah, it is not pretty. This is my first time using the jar system. See, I have one done already, yay! But I think as I get more comfortable using the jar system, I think it'll go a lot easier. And I am doing all of this. I cleaned out the refrigerator as well. So let me show y'all. My kitchen never looks like this. This is a hot, hot mess. But I tell you, there is a means to the end get this refrigerator in top shape it's all about the process but once you get your process down it definitely makes things more easier and it takes a lot of the stress off it has definitely gotten better since I've done it a couple of times the other thing that I wish I had done since I know that we're gonna be eating lots of salads was to get the wide mouth mason jars these work but the wide mouth jars will make it a lot easier to get all of your veggies and lettuce into the jar and also get them back out when you're ready for use one thing that I was having problems with is having leftovers all the way to the back of the refrigerator we was forgetting about them and basically ending up with some science projects I saw this awesome thing over at Bree's project book. If you really want to see some things about organization, check out Bree's channel. This was just revolutionary. So now we can see what we have to eat first so that we constantly don't throw away food and have food going bad. On the next shelf is all of my fruits. Before I rearranged my refrigerator, there was no way I could get this much stuff into my refrigerator. I moved my meat and cheese tray up. Having it down so low had us having food to go bad and now it's right up here at the top where we can see it and access it easily. This shelf right here I used to either put lunch bags in the next day or food leftovers or just housing things, big items. But I have this space which I didn't have it before. The next biggest thing that happened was I invested in these jars. These are glass jars. I don't have small children. If you have small children, you may want to invest in plasticware because the glass jars can get heavy when full, but they were so narrow and they fit perfectly in my refrigerator. Side note, this Kool-Aid is awesome. This flavor is called green apple. And if y'all have not tasted green apple Kool-Aid, it tastes just like a Jolly Rancher, delicious. And I was going to purchase a set of four off of Amazon and they were like $30, but I was able to find these jars at Wally World. And I'm telling y'all, this they are the exact same jars. Now I have, y'all, I, I have to see it again, so much room. In these bins, I was able to get three for 97 cents from Walmart. Now I can house the bottled waters, different types of sodas, and I still have room towards the back of my refrigerator, which is amazing. On my next shelf, I got these containers from Home Goods for five dollars, and I decided to keep eggs in one but I also put any type of cottage cheese in my little snackables and also biscuits that we eat 
In this drawer, I am housing our fruits. I am going to get one more container like this size to put back here so that everything stays in its proper place. All of these containers came from the Dollar Tree and it definitely helps to separate, you know, the apples and the citrus and whatever else. I do keep my cucumbers up here in this drawer as well. It helps to separate everything and keep everything organized. In my veggie drawer, I did the same thing. Put my sweet potatoes in a bin. I cook our fresh vegetables quickly, so this bin and I get to go through this band pretty quickly. And at the top, I have my cream cheese and butter, of course, in the top bin. I did find these containers for our OJ and our milk. We buy these in small quantities, but I love the jars, the glass jars with the handles. These jars were on Amazon for about 12 bucks. And again, y'all, Wally World had these same jars for $5 and about 74 cents so this was my actually my six dollar item so i was very pleased to be able to get two of these for what i would have paid for one had i ordered it online the next big thing that has revolutionized the look of my refrigerator are these condiment containers i did order a set of these a set of 12 for $22. I went into Walmart and I saw some that were smaller than this for about a dollar. So if you want to change your containers out to give a more consistent look, they do carry these at Wally World for 97 cents. Also on my door, this is where I keep my coffee creamers. And I love these bottles. I was able to get them with the lids. They actually came with a couple of pieces of chalk, but I used my chalk marker. I love the hazelnut flavor. I did put the expiration date on it, but they just look so much better, so much cleaner, and I did get those from Walmart. This was also one of the mason jars out of this set of 12. On the next shelf, I did label it where I'm keeping all of our salad dressings, pickle relish, things like that. And at the very bottom, I got this container from Ikea for $4, and those are the rest of my mason jars. By doing some rearranging, Thinking about the containers that I wanted, I did not buy everything at the same time. I got the two containers from Home Goods first. I think the next purchase was the mason jars. After that, I started picking up the glass jars two at a time just so that to keep the cost down. I cannot be more thrilled about how my refrigerator has come out. I'm waiting to do my freezer. We've been talking about getting a deep freezer, so I'm going to put that off until we decide if we're going to get one. So this area will be done in the future. Well, that's a wrap for my refrigerator makeover. I still have a few more projects to complete. I know, it's never ending. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, stay tuned, it's more to come. And until the next video...